Trinidad and Tobago is a dual island located near Venezuela. Not many people know about it, but without a doubt, this island is beautiful and possesses many different attractive things to do, such as its diverse cultures. So in this video, we are going to go over the top 10 reasons to visit Trinidad and Tobago. So without further ado, let's get to it! Number 10. A Paradise for Divers Trinidad and Tobago have the most beautiful sites for diving. If someone wants to explore the underwater beauty, Trinidad and Tobago are the best places. You even get to see the largest brain coral. Diving here gives you the advantage of watching the condition of the Atlantic and Caribbean Sea. You even get the opportunity to attend the underwater festival. Experienced scuba divers are especially drawn to these shores, though there is something to suit every level, including some good snorkeling tours for non-divers. Taking a peek into the crystal blue waters is really worth it. At Boko Reef, there are a plethora of underwater sites to behold. These include manta rays, reef fishes, giant manta rays. Divers love this place for its underwater beauty. All you have to do is put all your fears aside and jump into the water. Number 9. Big Turtles These islands are home to the world's largest turtles. These turtles weigh up to 700 kg and their length is up to 1.8 to 2.2 meters. Their name is Leatherback Turtles. They are only found in Trinidad and Tobago. They mostly live in groups. People come from the Caribbean countries to see them. These turtles are exotic and huge. Number 8. Home of Chocolate those with a sweet tooth would find several types of chocolate to enjoy. Trinidad and Tobago are home to the best cocoa in the world. This island exports chocolate to many countries. They have several chocolate industries. These chocolate factories produce high quality chocolate. Chocolate lovers might love to live here for a while. Enjoying the video? Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks! Number 7. Foodie Island One of the reasons people don't get bored of coming here is that the island is full of lovely restaurants. The most favorite is seafood and curry sauce. You don't have to go to expensive restaurants. You will find mouth-watering dishes on the streets. The specialties are fish curry, cold pot chicken, fried plantain, and grilled kingfish. These dishes may not be spicy, but they are delicious. It is lovely to find a cluster of stalls at every corner of the street. The cuisine here takes its cross-continental influences from all over Africa and India. There are some truly mouth-watering local specialties to be tried while on the island, chief among them being crab and dumpling, which is a must for those wanting an authentic taste of Tobago. Other local delights you need to sample include Doubles, curry chickpeas encased in fried bread Coconut water Chow, fresh fruit marinated with lime juice, salt, pepper and Mexican coriander known as Chadon Bani A great place to sample such delights is Store Bay Beach a sandy beach on the island's south coast where rows of huts offer everything from souvenirs to hot lunches. Number 6. Special Wildlife This place is special for nature lovers. Even though it is an island, it still has 24 species of non-poisonous snakes, 16 species of mammals, 210 species of birds, and 16 species of lizards. Tourists get the chance to explore the fauna and flora. The gardens have several numbers of flowers around the island. The government maintains a wildlife preserve to provide a safe environment to the rare white-tailed hummingbird common in Trinidad and Tobago. The atmosphere is pollution-free so that you will see these hummingbirds more often. Between March and September, sea turtles, including the endangered leatherback species, 
and the hawksbill turtle alight on Tobago shores to lay their eggs. The best beaches to see turtles laying eggs in Tobago are the aptly named Turtle Beach, Grafton Beach, Stonehaven Beach. Tobago takes the preservation of its natural diversity seriously, so a permit and registered guide are required to watch these prehistoric creatures. Number 5. Different Cultures and Traditions There are several cultures found on this island. Hindus and East Asians are found here too, which means that they also perform their cultural activities. Diwali is a Hindu festival in which the island turns into a colorful painting. They throw colors at each other and do firecrackers. They eat, drink, and spread love. Number 4. Traditional Music Of course, South America is famous for music, but Trinidad and Tobago is a must-visit for music lovers. The traditional music is so lovely and levitating. The main instrument is the steel pan. This trading music is best known for calypso music, soca music, and chutney music. You will find many bands singing around the carnival. There is a music truck that leads the carnival. There is a dance show in which they play this music and do the traditional dance. Number 3. Lovely Beaches As the island is covered by ocean, the city owns some of the world's finest beaches. The government makes sure that the beaches are pollution-free. There are several beaches like English Man's Bay Beach and Pigeon Point in Tobago, Las Cuevas and Maracas Bay in Trinidad. The sky shines on the sea that makes the bright water blue. The sound of waves is relaxing. The wind blows heavily from the sea. The endless horizon makes the scene quite beautiful. Number 2. Sun Lovers Trinidad and Tobago are sunny and humid. This island is for people who prefer hot and sunny weather. Tobago is cooler than Trinidad because of the northeast winds. Trinidad has clear and hot weather. The maximum temperature is 30 degrees. The weather between January and March is lovely. You would love to relax and take a sun bath. The sun shines bright on the whole island. People with melanin deficiency are not recommended. The citizens of rainy neighborhoods spend their vacations here. Enjoying the video? Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks! Finally at number 1, Colorful Carnivals. Every year, Trinidad and Tobago celebrates before the Lent, which is the time for rough fasting and sacrifice. The carnival is a time to marry, eat and drink before Lent. People wear vibrant colored costumes. They do exuberant celebrations. There are many cultural celebrations like band lounge fates. This carnival is held on Monday and Tuesday. Most people use masquerade at the festival. There are several activities like stick fighting. It is said that if someone is not celebrating the festival, they are busy preparing for it. People move around the streets dancing and singing. With that being said, we hope you liked this video. Let us know in the comment section where you would like to see next. Thanks for watching.